It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Estrella Dam, but it's not any ordinary beer. This one I seen in my local bottle shop. I picked it up. It's called Dam Lemon. <laughs> it's a 3.2% ABV, um, Clara Mediterranean. So it's probably me Mediterranean lemons in here. Designed and to sound incredibly refreshing it's only 3.2 percent abv but i picked it up anyway because i thought to myself i like the german and the austrian the words got radler that's it <laughs> the austrian and german radlers i really really like and this is probably going to be maybe a spanish version of a Radler, but slightly stronger in the ABV. So there's the bottle cap. Loads of lemons on the bottle cap. Uh, without further ado, uh, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. So, nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Loads and loads of smoke. Uh, brown bottle. Let's get the beer, the beer in the glass then. Yeah, look at that. So it even, it even has that kind of cloudy lemonade, Radler kind of look to it. Loads of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. We've got a two finger white head. The beer cost me, it was about two pounds in my local bottle shop. It wasn't a lot of money. But you can see why they designed and made this beer, can't you? I mean, you think in Spain where lots of fantastic coastline lots of fantastic beaches and beach bars to sit at and during the day where you want to keep things kind of respectable i suppose even if you're on an all-inclusive holiday and when i'm on an all-inclusive holiday i can start i can start on the beer at 12 o'clock midday you know it's part of your holiday you paid for it why not have a beer but i've often had uh, all-inclusive holidays where like, I'm in bed by 7 o'clock because I've been on the beer all day from 12. And this would probably prevent that. It would be probably just as enjoyable. But more of a... Well, while saying that, it could be dangerous, couldn't it? It could be really dangerous in the fact that with it being really cold, uh, lovely lemon flavours in there, um, this could be absolutely desirable, especially in the Spanish heat. So straw coloured, it's it's not um, bottle conditioned by any means, but it's definitely unfiltered. Uh, again, loads of carbonation, nice head. It's a straw hazy coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, this smells really nice, really, really nice. Look, it's bursting with lemons. And that kind of lager base beer. It smells absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ho, ho. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows want a beer. This is the Spanish version of a German Austrian Radler. Slightly stronger in the ABV. A German Radler will typically come in at about 2.5% ABV. With this being 3.2% ABV, it's got a little bit more of a What's the word? It's, it, it's got a little bit more potency, I suppose. It, I, I suppose it, it. I mean, you couldn't guzzle pint after pint really quickly, could you? In the Spanish sunshine, you probably would be in a in a bit of a pickle, even after three point two percent. But 
but it's been designed and made perfectly. It really has. It is bursting with lovely lemon flavour. Bursting. The beard is nicely carbonated. The carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. You then get that lovely, lovely kind of lager, slightly wheaty base to it. Oh, it's been fantastic. I haven't been to, I haven't been to Spain for a few years now. There was a time in my 20s where every year, without doubt, every year I'd be going to Spain on a holiday. And now in my 40s, my goodness me, if I came across this on a Spanish beach where it's, I don't know, 32 degrees or something like that, and I've got a glass of this in my hand, my goodness me, I'd be so happy at that bar. I can almost picture it. I can almost smell the salty sea air. The hot sand between your toes. And that's what you've got to do with beers like this. There's no point me imagining myself in reality, I suppose, in a, in a, on a February morning, slightly cloudy. It's relatively mild. It's not cold this morning, but... This has not been brewed for Wales, really. I know they're selling it in Wales, but it's not really been brewed for Wales. This has been brewed, designed really, really well. <coughs> Again, for that Spanish heat, that fantastic holiday. And they've made a perfect beer, they really have. It's so delightfully drinkable. Great lacing on the glass. That is fabulous. I just want to see if there's um, real six parts de cerveza, four parts de lemon. So six parts beer, four parts lemon. 60% um, beer with rice and hops. 40% flavoured carbonated soft drink. Uh, carbonated water. I won't go into it. It's, it's syrup. Lemon juice concentrate, citric acids. I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Now, I've been to this brewery. Oh, pardon me. SA Dam, yeah, Barcelona, Spain. I've been to this brewery in Barcelona, Spain. Um, I went to the old brewery. <coughs> They've turned it into a massive museum and restaurant. And it is the most amazing place. If you're ever in Barcelona, then I highly, highly recommend the tour, the Estrella Dam Old Brewery Tour. They've got a little microbrewery there. They're producing little microbrewery beers. It is absolutely fantastic. It is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place. It really is. The beer... The, the microbrew beer is incredible. I think I had a dark lager while I was there a few years ago. But you get to go down into the brewery vaults. You get to go down into the, all those old archways. And I tried taking pictures. I tried taking pictures of video of it. In fact, there's a video on YouTube of it on my channel if you want to take a look at it. But the pictures and video don't really do it justice. You need to see it with your own eyes. The amount of amazing architecture in this old building, this old brick building. And of course, with the Spanish heat, they had to dig down deep. They had to build cellars to keep the beer cold, to lager it effectively. But they couldn't do it kind of in that Barcelona heat above ground. So they had to dig down deep into the ground. It's a wonderful experience. You've got to go. But anyway, back to this damn lemon. If they can this and sold it in Tesco, Morrison's, Asda, like a six pack of this, four pack of this. I think this would be constantly in my fridge on a summer's day. It's a bit like the, the Pearl and Backer Rattlers you buy in Lidl in the summer. Whenever I see that beer, because you only see it in Lidl's in the summer, whenever I see Pearl and Backer Rattler, I'll literally, I'll buy about 20 cans of it. 
I'll buy twat easily. It is just the most amazing, amazing summer refreshing drink. Love this. Absolutely love it. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.